ask you a question folks how do you start with social media listening it sounds too complicated it just seems as if i've invented a new term a lot of us understand social media analytics social media insights social media results social media reach but how, what is social media listening social media listening is when you actually listen to your brand from social media across different channels what does your brand resonate with the social media today around you it could be twitter it could be facebook it could be 100 plus channels that we're talking about now how do you get a general perception of your brand a general overview of your brand a general sentiment of your brand across people a general reach across the board where as far as your brand is concerned in the last 1 hour last 12 hours last 15 hours last one day last week last month etc that's exactly what social mention does guess what it does it for free now it it has to be one of your best tools don't you think now social mention is you just have to go to socialmention.com as you see on your screens all you have to do is pretty simple over the last 24 hours i have been listening too much about about google facebook and a brand called reliance geo which happens to be an indian brand because there's a series of investments being pumped into reliance for the upcoming ventures that they are getting into so let's actually see what's the sentiment of of reliance as a brand in the last 24 hours let's say see let's see what happens so let's say if i search for reliance and i say search it just searches and takes me to a screen where there's a lot of data available okay now there are there are stats or there are posts from 4 minutes ago now this is from reddit now there are stats from 24 24 minutes ago and it will take you to stats which are as old as a year maybe so you filter it out from here i just want to look at what's happening since the last day which is 24 hours and you can sort it by date or you can sort it by source based on whichever platforms that you want to look at now fine this is interesting agreed i really understand i, I really have i'm very curious about what's happening okay i know who is posting about this brand what are this what what are they saying what platform they're on to if i really like something if i really like a post and i want to interact with the post i can go here and and talk about it plus it also gives you some kind of content ideas especially if you are a content writer because you know what brand resonates more what people are feeling about it wait how do i know how feeling uh, wait how do i know how people are feeling about it again now that's there, there has to be something there right so if you pay close attention you will understand that there are certain metrics that we have ignored very comfortably towards your left hand side so let's look at that we were engrossed in the posts that we are, we were able to see but we completely ignored what we saw on the left hand side now on the left hand side there is a grid which talks about strength sentiment passion and reach now what does this mean strength means the number of times your brand has been mentioned or any keyword that you have put in got mentioned divided by the total number of times it it is possible to mention a particular brand that percentage gives you the strength for example there if a brand called reliance is let's say eligible to get 1000 discussions mentions in the in the social media now it if this brand got mentioned 20 times so 20 by 1000 into 100 becomes my sentiment oh, sorry strength now sentiment is you weigh the positive and negative sentiments of people here in in this section here and then you decide whether it's inclined towards positivity more or whether it's so overall the sentiment here is positive so that's why you say 2 is to 1 where where you know the, the ratio between positive and negative is 2 is to 1 here now what's passion passion is the number of times uh the the the, the number of times a brand has been mentioned and let's say what's reach reach is the number of authors who have mentioned your post unique authors who have mentioned your post divided by the total number of mentions gives you the reach because that's exactly what reach means right reach is how far uh, is the reach of your particular brand in terms of it, it could be a mention it could be a tweet it could be a post etc now what all does social mention cover does it look at twitter does it look at facebook let's look at that now how do you get to know that it's as simple as going to socialmention.com let's say socialmention.com and simply look at uh, what they're all about i mean just just click on about section here it will give you a list of all the social media platforms that it looks at it could be from twitter facebook friend feed youtube dig google etc and it monitors about 100 plus social media properties 
directly now don't you think something like this would really help you to get a gist of what's happening around a particular brand or about a particular event or a particular news or a new a particular topic that's that's going on and i think this gives you an overview of what is happening so that you can go ahead and either start making social media content about it start making posts on social media start writing a blog post about whatever is resonating more with people looking at the sentiment you can get either inclined towards the positivity or the negativity if more people are talking about the negative perception of a brand then see what you could write in terms of how you can you can elaborate about what's happening so that people can get to know what is happening around a particular sentiment whether positive or negative and that's basically you start and and you also get to know who are the authors who have particular who have, who are very specific who have specifically written or mentioned these brands and i think that that that's that takes you beyond a point of just looking at a post looking at the number of likes etc you get a little more information than just the reach in terms of likes or comments that you receive you get to know the authors you get to know the reach you get to know the sentiment you get to know the strength of a particular discussion or a, or a, or a particular brand that has been discussed and obviously hashtags without hashtags there is no social media and the sources of news right so according to this there is a 20 uh, i mean the number of posts made on reddit as a platform is 20 so i know it's resonating more with people on reddit so maybe i could go to reddit and see what what people are feeling about it now if you are not very specific about your brand or about the term that you have meant it could show up for generic searches as well in this case the first post that you see i just said reliance but it could mean anything not specifically related to the brand this could mean anything so to avoid that what you do is you given some more context say reliance geo because reliance and geo together is is the brand that we're talking about see what that resonates i think that should give you more context so similarly if you want to track let's say as if your brand has a unique name like facebook for example i think it makes a lot of sense but if you're talking about reliance which could be a generic word as well so in those uh, situations i think it's always better to give uh, a, a context to uh, the the word that you're talking about or the brand that you're talking about now the first thing that came to my mind i, I really liked this headline which says mukesh ambani's 2019 agm speech earned him about 5.6 lakh crore reward in terms of investments that they're talking about by facebook and google i think see this is a reddit post right i think i could make this into an article i don't have to copy but i can rewrite the whole article but i like the theme the way this is presented in terms of how the speech that he gave in 2019 earned him a 5.6 lakh crore reward i think that's 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 an interesting take on it i feel so not just that your creativity can decide how ahead you want to take it and i think and i feel creativity knows no bounds hope you enjoy this tool until next time this is kc signing off cheers guys